Hello guys, it's Patrick TV here and we're doing today a beginner video guide for the Chia client. If you're more of an advanced user onto the Chia mining, then uh, you might want to skip this video as this is mainly aimed at newcomers to the cryptocurrency or users that struggle to use the Chia client or understand it. So, first of all, if you want to download the Chia client, you need to go to chia.net you have problems in finding the website, the link is gonna be in the description of the video. So, once we're on the home screen, you're gonna have option to install the latest version of the client, but there are some issues that I found with the latest version of the client and we use older version. So, in order to get the older version of the client, you need to head over to the releases tab, which is in the top of the screen. And you just press release it. You see that it's highlighted. Okay. And that will show you the releases of different versions of the application. We want to focus on the Chia blockchain 1.1.2. That's the latest uh, that's actually working. My previous videos were done in 1.1.1. So when you get to this website, click on the Chia blockchain 1.1.2 and that will direct you to the download page. This is the download page, which is the GitHub. GitHub is essentially a website that allows you to store your code. Typically, uh, like developers tend to uh, upload their code, uh, their source code, which is the original code for the application, to be transparent about it. And there's nothing to worry about it. So, uh, yeah, so we need to focus on the exe file. .exe is for Windows. If you're a Mac user, you want to download the .dmg file. And once you do that, then it will download it to your download folder. So basically click on it. You'll see in the top right corner, it starts downloading. And that's pretty much it. I have already downloaded it. And I don't want to download it again because it's going to waste our time. So what, once you download it, click on the folder on here. Head over to download folder. And click on the Chia setup. Ignore the other files that I have on here because I've just been playing around with other stuff. So once you find a file in your downloads, Chia setup, okay, you double click it and you will be welcomed with this screen. You won't have this uh, private key with public fingerprint, so you won't have these things displayed, it will be blank. So in order to create a wallet, you need to press this option, okay? And it's going to come up with 24 words. So what it's doing now, it's creating a wallet. So you think of it as, as your personal wallet, but you have the key to open this wallet and withdraw funds from it, okay? And you have only one key. You can't change that key. And if you lose the key, you can't withdraw funds from it. If you, for example, give it to someone or expose it on the internet, then there's potential that someone else can use it. Okay, so just make sure you keep it safe and write it down. And that's pretty much it. All you have to remember is just don't get exposed. And that's pretty much it. You go to next uh, and that will generate your wallet. What's it doing now? I wanted to skip this part, but I think for beginners it's best if we don't skip things. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It will take you to this screen. So when you when we go back, you will notice, I mean, I have wallets here. But let's go back to the previous screen that we were at. Hopefully it loads. Sometimes you will have issue that it shows connecting, okay? and it's not working. So what you have to essentially do is close the application and open it up again, okay? So this is the full node, meaning 
uh, this is like the home screen gives you information about the blockchain the the blocks are basically blocks of transactions um what's happening on the network i don't want to go into depth with it i just don't want to overload you with information just think of it as like these are transactions okay so this holds transactions let's say there's like 10 transactions in here 10 transactions or x amount of transactions it doesn't necessarily be need to pretend what i'm trying to say is every time there is a block found and confirmed a miner or farmer gets rewarded to chia's so that's why you create plots on the chia client to uh, find those blocks okay before we do that you need to make sure that you have your what in sync that can take around four hours or maybe longer depending on your internet speed because downloading all of those blocks onto your computer to have it all up to date okay so the status is connected and we heading over to wallets okay wallets here it will show you your balance how much you have pending balance okay and your address in plots this is I have currently plots running. Okay. Plots, you will have only option add plots when you just open the application. So when you do add plots, it will start choose how many plots you want to run and uh, set it all up. But at the moment, I'm just covering the vid the application. We're not going to go into the depths of setting it up. So if you want to watch the next video that will have the details about setting up the uh, plotting. Okay. So first of all, next screen will be about farming. As you can see, this is the farming screen. At the moment, I have only two plots uh, on the client. I don't really use this client for farming because I used a pool mining what that means is that on the client let's say you have two plots okay and you go to your farm section it will actually show that the time to win which is to find the block time will be around two um, two two years two years it will be a very long time before you actually find the block so alternative is mining on a pool or because then you combine your power with everyone else on the network and if there is a block found you get your cut or your size of your plot so each plot can vary in size can be size so if you go to add plots it can be size uh, 101 gigabytes sorry gibs 208 gibs 429 gibs 884 gibs we, the network doesn't use the 600 mib um, size because that was just for testing purposes only on those four you want to focus on this one is not going to go obsolete anytime soon so you don't have to worry about uh putting the bigger size so let's go out of it and let's focus on the farming thing so when you scroll right down to your plots okay in a plots tab if it says synchronizing or not farming or it's showing orange that means it's not farming because there is no internet connection or it's updating the transaction once it's green you don't have to do anything it would work by itself you need to have the client open and that way it will on checking for uh, blocks trying to find uh, proofs and that way if it finds a proof that matches the block it will basically uh, reward you because you actually found the block and you have proven it. So what I'm trying to say now is these are farming plots these have been verified 
they have been plotted and these are basically the plots that are being created so think of it this way as a land you have a farm and you have a land in order before you start plotting your i mean planting your plants uh, or seeds or whatever you're gonna put on there you need to prepare the land that's what this is essentially doing just i'm not gonna go into depth or complexity of it i just want to to imagine uh, because that will be the simplest way for you to understand how it works okay if i go into depths you some of you want and understand so just imagine that this is just like preparing the land it requires some computer power okay i went into the logs so to go into the logs while it's working you click on those three dots and then you press view log okay and that will give you details uh, what it's doing okay so typically each uh is basically it's doing tables each table has 128 buckets so like pieces of a table or chunks and there is 32 tables okay so pretty much that's how it looks it is 32 big chunks and then 128 small chunks that it's going to do once it's uh done done it it will basically finish this into your final destination and the way it's going to look going to look like on here I'm gonna say plot file okay if it's saying temporary file then it's uh, not finished on trade screen you can hear a uh, trade i haven't tested this myself but i believe this is going to be or creating orders, selling and buying chia. At the moment, this is coming in the near future. And keys, you can change keys. Okay. So my so these are okay to show. So these are just you know fingerprints, but they're not actually public key. I mean, like private keys. What I'm trying to say is, you you have three things that will come with the wallet. So you have the seed, which are those 24 words. You will have a public address and private address. The private address is used for withdrawing funds. Seed is to accessing the client and public address is the one that you send the funds to. The seed and the private address you don't want to expose. Okay, these you have to keep secret and only use when you want to make a transaction. And you make sure that when you make a transfer, say, uh, of course you have a client, but let's say you have a third-party application uh, that it's not made by Chia. It will ask you for a private key. You need to be sure that you can trust this application before you give them the private key and stuff like that. If it's safe. Uh, you don't actually need to uh, provide private key in a Chia application because it's built in transferred here. So that's pretty much that covered. The estimate will be here, but my wallet is synchronized and I wouldn't actually plot with, uh, I mean, I wouldn't farm with two plots anyway. And synchronizing status. How um, uh, any Chia I have farmed, which is zero. And that's pretty much it for the uh, client roundup. On the next video, I'll be doing and covering uh, the plotting. So I'll be showing you how uh, the plotting works and uh, how to set it up. Okay, and I'll explain it with um, as much detail as I can for you guys. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Just uh, remember that you leave a like and subscribe. Be a seeder, meaning that subscribe, you contribute, give something for the free video. That way you can see the later updates and plan to do more crypto stuff. If you want to see something else like about different coin, comment it down below. What I'm trying to say is uh, we all look for information and if you want me to provide you with more information, 
the only way you can gonna get that information is by subscribing or uh, by mentioning what you would like to see but for now I see you guys next time and thank you very much for watching